Detroit Osteopathic Hospital began in 1919 on the corner of 3rd Avenue and Highland Street. Originally a house, it was converted and had only 38 beds. The population grew, expansions became necessary, renovations and additions were regular until the 1970s. The hospital's two-story Philip Gray Memorial Unit was completed in 1937, increasing its capacity. Amenities included a modern x-ray facility, surgical wards, an operating room, and communication system. As the building was being completed, plans were starting to be drawn up for a new expansion that added offices and another two-story patient wing in 1943. As Highland Park grew, the hospital expanded several times during the 1950s, adding new buildings and additional floors to existing ones. The original home that made up the hospital was demolished during these expansions and replaced by an eight-story tower in 1955. The Detroit Osteopathic Hospital became a network building hospitals in Trenton and Warren. By the 1960s, the city of Highland Park had stopped growing, but its health care needs continued to increase. In 1966, a parking garage was built to the north side of the hospital, and in 1967, an office building for doctors was built. The last addition was a two-story ambulatory wing on the west side of the complex, built from 1975 to 1977. Part of the older hospital was also renovated during this time. Detroit Osteopathic continued to expand its health care through the 1980s, including emergency care, dialysis, medical imaging, and mental health treatment. It was the second largest employer in Highland Park, with over 700 workers monitoring over 220 patient beds. Though the hospital was profitable in 1990, it lost money in 1991 and again in 1992. Detroit Osteopathic had a death rate that was higher than the average in the state, and employees had started to look for new jobs, sensing that the change was coming. By the middle of that year, Horizon Health Systems had opened negotiations with Detroit Macomb Hospital Corporation to sell the hospital, but it had stopped accepting new patients. When DMHC purchased Detroit Osteopathic for $2.5 million in December, its primary interest was the hospital's doctors and their patients. The company had opened Detroit River Riverview Hospital on Jefferson Avenue just six years early, but the modern facility was underused and losing money. Closing Detroit Osteopathic and moving the hospital's doctors to Riverview paid off for DMHC in the short term. As the doctors took patients, which bolstered the company's finances and brought the hospital closer to capacity. Detroit Osteopathic Hospital closed its doors on December 18th of 1992. DMHC had initially planned on demolishing part or all of the hospital and budgeted $2 million on top of the sale to price to cover the expenses. But for whatever reason, the demolition work never started. Instead, parts of the hospital remained open, including the doctor's office's building on the north side, which became a health clinic. Most of the medical and surgical equipment was auctioned off, ending up in other local hospitals. For the most of the 1990s, the main building was vacant. Then in 2004, the hospital became a new lease on life when part of it was renovated and reopened as the Business Entrepreneurship Science Technology Academy, or BEST Academy. The first three floors of the west side of the complex were cleared and renovated into classrooms, while the fourth floor was used for storage. While there were early plans to convert the remaining wings of the hospital, this never went beyond the planning stage, and the eastern wings were bricked off and left to fall into ruin as scrappers and vandals found their way in. Scrapping was more expensive than the old hospital, though. On at least one occasion in 2007, the school was forced to close for two days after the telephone line stopped working. When the school principal went into the tunnels under the buildings to investigate, he was startled by a man with the pliers and a black suitcase with wheels, copper spilling from it. According to the Michigan Chronicle, the principal tied up the copper thief until police had arrived. Though the school was open with some promise, parent feedback was mainly negative, and Best Academy closed in the summer of 2012. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We really do appreciate it, and we wanted to welcome all of our new subscribers. Clicking that like button really helps smaller channels like this one. If you've made it this far, why not click that subscribe button? This helps YouTube know we exist. Until next time, explorers, stay safe.